Nice little barrel. Did he make it out? You'll have to watch the video to find out. Okay, we went to uh, 15th Street in Del Mar and uh, it was closed out and uh, my friends had either come and gone or had not arrived yet, but I bailed out when I went up to Cardiff. And uh, it was, uh, there was a marine layer, as you can see from the video, the, uh, it wasn't sunny out. It was uh, pretty early in the morning, about 6.30 a.m. That was Bruce, by the way, the previous wave. And uh, Bruce, I think I got your other wave too, coming up. So anyway, we uh, stopped off at Jack in the Box, got a couple of tacos, waiting for the sun to come out. And uh, then drove over to uh, the parking lot there in Cardiff and uh, started videoing. Got some uh, pretty good videos. A lot of, uh, actually quite a few uh, guys getting covered up and uh, also some nose rides coming up. One of the things I like about coming a little bit later on in the morning is that the sun is out and it just, everything just, the videos come out better with the sunlight on it and, uh, but anyway, we were there and um, as you can see, the waves did arrive. It wasn't quite as big as I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. Nice ride. And milk it all the way in. Ah, uh, bails out. Okay. Now, when you bail out from your board, now I need to tell you this because you want to separate yourself from your surfboard as far as possible. So you notice the guy bailed out jumped over the back of the wave that's for his own protection because you don't want to be in the uh, breaking wave when the uh, you're bored in there and it's sort of like a, a washing machine you're inside of a washing machine with your surfboard and getting tossed around you end up getting uh, hit Oh, now that was the wave I was looking for. Okay, did you notice how that guy, he fell forward in front of his board, in front of the wave. The bad news is that your board's coming after and it's gonna get you. So you always want, want to bail out, I'll say over the wave as opposed to in front of the wave. That way you don't get hit. Low tide was a little bit after 8 a.m., so the tide was going out when we arrived, and uh, then it, uh, eventually the sun did come out, so it looked pretty good. You see that guy get snuffed on that last wave? Very cool. This guy got a nice ride. Boogie Border, snuff job. If I remember correctly, he gets a good ride later on. This guy right here, watch him. Dude, into the barrel. We got a couple of those. Dude. Very nice. I mean, the guy just drove right into a tube. Another snuff job. 
very gutsy hanging in there. Some of the waves had pretty good shape. There was some sections that came up. You'll see later on. Boogie border again. I'm trying to make it to the shoulder. The shoulder of the wave is where the wave has not broken yet. The ideal spot to be in is right where this guy is, right in front of the soup. Soup is the white water, and as he's going, you notice he's cutting back and then staying right in the hot spot. Again, over the back of the wave as opposed to getting caught inside. So the steepest part of the wave is right there between where the white water is and the wave has not broken yet. Now, when people are riding shortboarders, they've got shortboards, they have to take off late. This guy got a lot of rides, a lot of good nose rides. There he goes, five and a 10. Nice ride, very, very nice. Yes. Made it out of the barrel. Anyway, so when you're, when you're surfing on a longboard, you have a higher flotation and you skim over the top of the water. You can take off on a wave much earlier than a shoreboarder. He's trying to get to the shoulder, just not making it. There he goes. Wave's going to slow down. He's going to wait for it to build up on the nose. Some of the inside waves, very steep. Some are makeable, some not. And the sets came through, it was pretty nice. Boogie border again. Watch this, right there, inside the barrel. Okay, dude, here's looking right into the barrel. Very cool. I sure hope he got to see this video. Nice. Larry couldn't make it this morning. Bob the Ripper was with me. Taking up the slack. We blame Bob for everything, so if there's anything wrong with the video, it's always Bob's fault. The sun gradually came out. I mean, it was a really slow process, and uh, there was still that well, we had a few weeks ago that mist that was hanging in the air. It's like high humidity, and when you when you back up, it's you're not getting clear shots. There's a nice right. See, so guys, hanging back, waiting for it to build. goes a bunch of girls came out 
Now, see, there was a loose board. She just got hit by a board. There's a guy straight ahead of her that uh, lost his board, didn't have a leash. You never, ever point your board other than straight out. If it's perfect, if, you, if your board is uh, parallel to the beach and a wave comes and hits it, it will knock you over. You always want to have your board pointed straight out. Nice cutbacks, pull out. Very nice. Off the lip there. Okay, dude. Gonna get some fives or tens? What are you doing? Okay. Couldn't quite drop in. You see how many people are in the water compared to earlier. It's nice in one way because a lot of people go out there before school, and I'm talking about high school kids. There's, there's uh, quite a few high school kids. I don't think I saw any of the uh, young ladies get away, but all. I have a correction for the story that I gave you last Friday. If you haven't watched last Friday's video, that's the one just before this, check it out. Anyway, um, I gave you the story about Joel Tudor and the Ho La Jolla Shores parking lot. And I told you that I got him to sign an autograph. I thought about it afterwards and I, I really think I got a picture of him and my daughter, Sarah. And I took that, there's 10, very nice. Thanks. Very smooth. Anyway, uh, so I sent the picture that's on the front of the uh, last video I did to my granddaughter, Lily, and asked her to ask uh, Sarah, do you recognize this guy? And she knew it was Joel right away, just by his style. 20 years later. Dude. This guy did get a lot of good waves, the previous guy. This guy got lots of nose rides, fives, tens, and snuff job. Late takeoff, short border. He got lucky, he was right there in the right spot. Getting a nice ride. So I wanted to tell you that last Friday I got a uh, comment on the, the video from someone in Netherlands. His name is Dirk and uh, he surfs and uh, does videos and he does drones. So I got his email address, he got my email address. We started sending uh, emails back and forth. I'm going to include his link down below in the comment section because uh, you really need to uh, check out his video because we are so blessed to have these smooth, clean waves like this. He was telling me that uh, most of his waves are uh, wind swells. And uh, like I explained to him, when we come out and it's that windy, it's we call it blown out. There's just too much wind. But that's what generates the waves for them. Water temperature and air temperature Water temperature 9 degrees Celsius and air temperature 5 degrees Celsius. He wears a 5-4 wetsuit. Man. Man, that's uh, hard to believe, huh? So count your blessings, guys. And make sure you watch this video because I think, uh, I think it's a good learning experience. Plus the video is nice. It does a good job. Use a combination of uh, GoPro and also uh, using this drone footage. I thought it was well done. Here we go. Same guy. He's trying to get in that tube. He's hanging back. There it goes.
I also want to thank my friend Bill, Bill New. Thanks for your comments. I appreciate your suggestions and your input on these videos. Nice, working it. Staying right in the hot spot of the wave. And then, got to pull out, unfortunately. I guess, uh, didn't want to keep going. A lot of guys got really snuffed by those little tubes, as you've seen already. Hmm. See him pop up through the back of the wave. This uh, stand-up surfer got a lot of waves and unfortunately fell off on that last one, but he had some great rides last week. Another one. He made it out. He did it. If, if you're familiar with what a coffin is, and I'm not referring to a person that's being buried in it, I'm referring to a surfing maneuver. If you go back and watch that, at the very end he came out, he's laying on his back. There was a maneuver called a coffin back in the 60s and that you lay down and you put your hands over your chest just like you're in a coffin. And that's what that was called. I used all my batteries for the Inspire 2. It's, uh, I've got a total of 12 batteries. Uh, uh, that's six flights. You use two batteries per flight. The swell is supposed to start uh, going away pretty soon, so I'm going to hit it tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, I'll be there. Look at the difference with the sun out, it just looks so much nicer. The videos come out so much better with you when you have more light. Lots of cutbacks.
I decided to uh, swing the camera around because I know everybody likes to see different things on the beach. You can see how the fog, it's not really fog, it's just high humidity. I'm not sure exactly what it, you would technically call it. So I thought I'd fly over to where that little river mouth is. Well, I guess it's in the next second. I hope I didn't cut that out. There's the cul-de-sac at the end of the uh, parking lot where we're parked. Man, what a bummer. I think I might have cut that part out. I'll hit it next time. Anyway, flying back down the beach. And then back out. Nice little wave. Dude. Oh, man, got smashed, huh? Looks like Joe's got a good wave. He just paddled out a little while ago. It's the only picture or video I got of him on waves, but it was uh, he's very smooth. What I did was I drove, I drove, I flew beyond on the other side of the uh, road. And then this is like the lagoon area back there. And then I swivel around to the right eventually. I had to go a long ways because I got the telephoto lens so that you have to compensate for that. Sort of looking toward the south. See the train tracks. This is uh, about 200 feet. Got to make sure I clear all the palm trees and uh, telephone poles. Flying back to land. That's about it for today. I'll see you out there tomorrow, 10 a.m. if you can make it. Hopefully the waves will still be good and we'll get some sun, get some good videos. Have a great day. Thank you.